Hello, my homies. One smart cat doing some Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Today, I have my build for Cook. Now, when it comes to Cook, or at least when it comes to my Cook, he's kind of a jack of all trades. And the way that I utilize him is by actively assessing what's going on in the match. This game has already progressed a lot in the terms of what the quote unquote victims are able to do. And what I mean by that is the more and more victims are familiar with the maps, the quicker the escape times are and how fast they are able to complete their objectives. I do think that there is a lot of tweaking that needs to happen to this game, but this video isn't about any of that. My cook build is about seeing what's happening in any particular match and being able to adjust and help the rest of your teammates so that you can get as many victims as possible. So first and foremost, Cook has two uniques and I just need to say like, like right offhand, I went through so many builds with Cook. Like I, I think I did five or six different builds and I wasn't happy with any of them. This is the one that I finally ended up on that I am happy with. Cook has two uniques. He has this one that makes it harder for blocks to be picked for his locks to be picked. And what that means exactly is, you know, each time the victim pushes the button to advance the lock, it just, it doesn't advance as much as it typically would. At level three, it makes it 50% harder. So basically they have to advance it twice as many times than they, you know, usually would have to. His other unique is Prey Drive. And I did do a build with this. And what this one does is whenever you spot a victim with your power, it's not like whenever you just see a victim, you know, run across your screen. It's whenever you spot a victim with your power, you get at level three. We're always going to talk about level three because that's going to be what you want eventually. So at level three, you spot a victim and your stamina recharges at 40% for 15 seconds. So I did try out this unique as well. And for the life of me, I just could not find anything viable for it. You'll see in, uh, hopefully you'll see in the gameplay because I haven't done the gameplay yet. One of my current strategies with Cook is to, you know, hit a victim as much as I can. I don't typically plan on bringing them down, but once they do get away from me, I'll stop and I'll mark them with my power. Uh, that way another family member could continue the chase if any of them are around. You would think that would be good for this prey drive because I would stop and mark somebody, uh, spot them, and then I would recharge my stamina for the next 15 seconds. But the thing is, whenever you stop to spot somebody anyway, your stamina is going to be back by the time you're done spotting them. So that's why I went with the lock unique one. Obviously, one of Cook's overwhelming drawbacks is how slow he is. And it doesn't matter how many points you put in endurance, he's not going to be any faster. He's just going to be able to run longer, which is why we have Scout. So Scout increases your movement speed by 15%, but decreases your melee damage by 10%. This takes care of one of Cook's biggest problem, which is his speed. And for the way that I play Cook, me doing a lot of damage isn't my main priority i do want to put damage down and i do get kills but i want to get two or three good hits and then i want to mark them for hopefully one of my family members to finish them off if you're looking for a family member that you can just you know try to 4k all of the victims on your own this isn't that cook build i don't know if there is a cook build for that <laughs> but this definitely isn't that this is more of a analyze the battlefield and support your teammates kind of build the last perk that I have on him is Unrelenting. This is just to boost up their endurance so that I can remain in chase for a decent amount of time. And makes it and it made it so that I didn't have to put all of my points into endurance. I was able to spread out my points into blood harvesting and into savagery. As far as my grandpa perk, these are the three that I get going on the skill tree that I go through, uh, which I'll show you here in a second. And honestly, out of the three of them, chicken is kind of funny. I kind of I put it on chicken sometimes just because I think it's funny that the chickens yell a lot. But out of all of them, I've been using barge to the point. And the reason for that is this is very situational because not a lot of victims 
put the latches on the doors. But whenever there is a latch on the door, Cook has a very hard time getting through it. Like, Cook has to hit the door like five or six times in order to get through that fucking door. If this is active, then it opens on the first try, and that saves a lot of time. Is it situational? Yes. But whenever it helps, it helps. My skill tree for these perks, if you do want to try out this build. We go up, straight down the middle, take a right, follow it all the way up, take a left, follow it all the way up, and that's all the rest of the stuff. I looked up what all the random stuff Cook's able to get, and I didn't see anything in there that I thought would make this build better. So you, if you get something in random and you want to give it a try, you know, that's... That is your priority. Uh, that is your prerogative. All right. So the last thing I will show is my power tree. We can see over here that I use the reduced ability drain by 30%. The victim detection range increased by 20%. And highlighting the victim for everybody in the family. I do the highlighting of the victim for everybody in the family just because it makes it easier. I know you can be on comms and be like, he's in front of me going to the left. But whenever you're playing in the open match and there's a lot of stuff going on, it's just a lot easier that whenever you mark somebody, everybody's able to see it. All right, so that is my maxed out cook build. As we're playing the matches, I'll explain a bit more of what I mean by assessing the situation of the games and then making decisions on what to do. Because honestly, this is just kind of like the evolution of the game that it is right now, where depending on if the victims are rushing and before you're out of your animation, they've already woken up grandpa, or if they're taking a little bit of time, or if they're gonna go for the fuse. It just, it's a its a bit more in the moment choice making that has to happen. Let me show you exactly what I mean. Get into a game. Alrighty, we are at the family house at dawn. Now, the first thing that we're gonna have to do is find out where the fuse is because or where the fuse box is because that is a very popular way to escape the house and a very quick way to escape the house if uh if you can get it quick enough close please thank you all right the fuse box is up here that that's good and bad it's good because we can try to keep an eye on it um without having to go through the windows and stuff like that it is bad because if they are able to get it we gotta end this. well Lila's just running Lila don't care if they are able to get it they can actually get out really quick um, from that fuse box straight down to the basement exit Let's go to the center of the house, do a little listen, see if we can find anybody. Somebody, somebody, somewhere right here. All right, so there's at least two of them still downstairs. Let's go check the fuse box again. You really have to keep an eye on the fuse box. It would Leatherface just went up there, so we might as well grab some blood while we can. Honestly, feeding Grandpa is kind of secondary now. Um, just because it does take time. And there's literally a victim perk that just like one Grandpa stab and it takes away four? Four bars? Which is fucking insane. Like, how long does it take the family to get Grandpa up to four bars? And one stab takes them all the way down to zero. Pretty crazy. But, irregardless. Just keep trolling. 
Everybody's doing a good job of moving around. I'm fixing to find the old nest for sure. The victims are staying relatively quiet, which is interesting. Check up here again. So they have to open that fuse box. Calm down now. The family is doing a great job of patrolling the area though. So that's really good. Uh, they stopped moving. Uh, they just came up. Everybody's able to see him. So we should be converging here. He's going upstairs. See if we can locate him again. That's not him. He's still down there. Let's head back down. Put ourselves closer to the middle of the room or the middle of the house. Somebody just jumped out the front window. Leatherface is on him. There's no point in me going with him unless I want to try to steal the kill, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stay here, keep the house safe, keep grandpa safe. Like three people running, running after somebody like to the backyard. That's uh, you don't need to do that. He's over there. Let's go back up and check the fuse box again. Fuse box is still good. I ain't looking which way this is headed. They gotta be around here someplace. Uh, he has he has Leland cornered over there, but like my speed and stuff isn't gonna help. Hitchhiker could, could go help him. Right, he just went down the well. We still have two alive. So where's the other guy? I think the other guy's still Sunny. That Sunny went upstairs, and I never saw him come back down. Where did that Sunny go? I wonder if he threw himself out the window after him. Let's check the generator real fast. Is that is that light over there still red? Yeah, generator's still on. Lights over there still red. I wouldn't be surprised if he digged the window again. He stabbed Grandpa, but I mean, we're like literally not even putting anything in Grandpa, so it doesn't hurt us at all. It's just something fun for him to do. <laughs> Ooh, who just came down the stairs?
Very nice. Now we don't, all of us don't need to be here. Y'all go look for Leland. Oh, did he, did Leland quit? <laughs> I don't, I guess Leland didn't think he was going to be able to get out. Oh no, Leland died. Okay. Good job. That was, we did a great job patrolling the house the entire time. Like that's pretty much what you have to do. And even doing that, what we were doing, how well we patrolled the house, the victims can still get out if, uh, if they play aggressively and if they play together. So even patrolling as much as we did isn't a guarantee that you're going to get any kills. Once again, back at the family house. This time it is nighttime, I think. I think it said nighttime. No more Sunny to deal with. And I think my partner is... Yeah. My partner's sissy. So hopefully... She goes and turns on the battery. Fuse box is not up here. Fuse box is over there in the room. That's a little bit scary. Looks like Sissy is, is going to go turn on the battery. That's very helpful. That wall came out of nowhere. Let's do a quick listen. See if we could help our friend downstairs find anybody. The fact that they haven't already woken up Grandpa means that they're going a little bit slow and we can we can go a little bit slow all right got a couple of couple of lock-ins down there see if that helps our leather face at all turn on the night light because it's scary and we might as well grab some blood cook Un unless they're like right here at the door cook really has no business going downstairs Hello. just because of how slow he is and the fact that he can't go through the little walls so i didn't want to lock on right there because they might be coming up the ladder and i want them to come up the ladder if you lock onto them they will sometimes not do what they're doing Yeah, they're, yeah, they're definitely coming up. Come on. Don't make a liar out of me. I'm fixing to find me all that's for sure. You gonna come up here? Are you gonna go come up? I don't think they're gonna come up here. Who was I locking on to? Unless he got chased away, maybe. Somebody's already up here. Somebody's going for the fuse box. Where is the fuse box? Over there. I'm gonna smack that Johnny upside a dark on head. This all his due. <laughs> this will help. He motherfucker ran right through me. Very nice, very nice. 
by it. So us just doing that was enough for them to get the fuse box. They spun the Bubba. They spun the Bubba and I ran out of uh, stamina. Still got 50-50 though. You, like that, that fuse box goes so quick. It was, it was closed the last time I saw it. Like it was, the fuse box was closed. Went after Leland. They opened the fuse box, put the fuse in it, did the puzzle and pulled the switch. And then they got out so fast. <laughs> All right, we don't have to worry about a Leland this game, so that's good. However, we are on the dreaded gas station at night, by the way. So we're going to have to see how this goes. I'm going to have to pop my all three of my locks pretty much over here. I tell you what. All right, they didn't immediately wake up Grandpa, so let's go ahead and grab some blood. Okay, Grandpa's awake, so that's going to be the last blood that we grab. There's actually like three pots of blood over here that oh, you're able to get. But because they are semi-rushing, we, we're not going to get any of those. <laughs> we're going to throw our locks on. We're going to get a little bit away from this generator because it's loud as hell. And it messes up my power. And we need to find the fuse box. We need to find the fuse and the valve because both of them are right, valves right there. If the valves right there, we want the fuse to be right here. The fuse is not right here. They are already out. Ooh, both of them are right here. We don't want our target here is the Connie because we don't want her to get the lock. Try to put people on her. The fuse might be in there. Is the fuse in there? She went back through that other side. Uh, the fuse is right there. It's too foggy. Stay on her. Hopefully somebody will go around on her. All right, there we go. Now we have him on her. Stay on her again. Can't get a lock on her. Oh, there she is. Oh my God, I can't believe I missed that. Uh, panic swinging. Get another lock on her. They want this fuse box. We don't care about grandpa. Fuck. Leave. We don't need grandpa. Good to see you. It's been a while. He's going to come back around. We got him away from the fuse box a little bit. Somebody's right here. Ah, shit. She went that way. Get her, Bubba. She's right there.
should have been able to get two on that. Why is that open? Why do you have that open? This was locked. I don't know. Who the fuck is kicking shit over here? Who kicks that gen? Nobody kicks that gen. The fuse is probably put in by now. Ooh, okay, we got one. I do decent damage. Not like amazing damage, but decent damage. I really want to check that fuse. I'm coming, fuse. Okay, they haven't come, got in for the fuse yet. Uh, I I should have been listening right there because nobody's going to be moving whenever Grandpa's yelling. Did? Well, the... The Sonny did get by, but he was trying to kick the gen. Uh, she's out on the other side. I'm not going to make it over there in time. I may have decent. I might have better speed, but. These games are tough, man. These games have gotten very, very tough. Tough, tough, tough. Ooh, man. These matches, y'all. Sometimes they're a struggle. No matter what, they're a struggle. <laughs> they're either a struggle and we do decent or they're a struggle and everybody escapes. <laughs> but I mean, it's fun. I'm sure having fun with it. There are definitely some changes that I hope happen. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And I mean more changes than just like, you know, adding a new family member. But either way, that's neither here or there. There are definitely different ways to build up Cook. This is the way that I've been enjoying playing him. Basically as like a very aggressive sonar. <laughs> like, you know, finding the victims, hitting them a couple of times and then pinging them over and over again so that at least the rest of the family members know where they are. Because no matter what, even with the speed boost that I've given him with this build, he's still slow. He still doesn't have great endurance. So unless you're able to surprise people and, you know, get a couple of bonks on the head, then being a support character is really good. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know any of your cooked builds. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully I see you in another one of my videos and wee!